The Last Pamphlet Every Sunday afternoon, after the morning service in the church, the pastor and his 11-year-old son would go throughout the town and hand out evangelistic pamphlets. One Sunday afternoon, when it came time for the pastor and his son to go to the streets with their pamphlets, it was very cold outside and it was raining a lot. The boy dressed up in warm clothes and said, Okay, Dad, I'm ready. And his father said, Ready for what? Dad, it's time to gather our pamphlets and go out. His father replied, Son, it's very cold outside. It's pouring down heavily. The boy looked surprised and asked, But Dad, will people not go to hell even on rainy days? His father replied, Son, I am not going out when it's this cold. Sadly, the boy asked, Dad, can I go? Please, let me. His father hesitated for a moment and then said, Okay, son, you can go. Here are the pamphlets. Take care, son. Thanks, Dad. Then he went out into the rain. This 11-year-old boy walked from door to door of that city, giving out pamphlets to everyone he saw. After walking for two hours in the rain, he was soaking wet, but had one last pamphlet left. He stopped on a corner and looked for someone to hand the pamphlet to, but the streets were totally deserted. Then he turned towards the first house he saw and walked from the sidewalk to the door and rang the bell. He rang the bell, but no one answered. He rang again, but no one opened the door. He waited, but there was no answer. Finally, this 11-year-old soldier turned his back to leave, but something stopped him. Again, he turned to the door, rang the bell, and knocked even louder on the door. He waited. Something was keeping him on that porch. He rang again, and this time the door opened, slowly. Standing in the doorway was an elderly lady who looked very sad. She asked kindly, What can I do for you, my son? With radiant eyes and a smile that lit up her world, this little boy said, uh, Ma'am, forgive me if I'm disturbing you, but I just want to say that Jesus loves you very much, and I came here to give you my very last pamphlet which will tell you all about Jesus and his great love. Then he handed her his last pamphlet and turned his back to leave. She called him and said, Thank you, son, and may God bless you so much. Well, the following Sunday morning in church, his father, the pastor, was behind the pulpit and as the service began, he asked, does anyone have a testimony or something to share? Slowly, in the back row of the church, an elderly woman stood up. As she began to speak, a glorious look transcended her face. Nobody knows me in this church. I've never been here before. You see, before last Sunday, I was not a Christian. My husband passed away some time ago, leaving me completely alone in this world. Last Sunday, being a particularly cold and rainy day, I had decided in my heart to end my life. I had no hope or will to live, so I took a rope and a chair and went down the stairs to the attic of my home. I tied the rope to a beam in the roof. I stood on the chair and fastened the other end of the rope around my neck. Standing on that chair, so lonely and broken-hearted, I was about to jump off the chair, when suddenly the sound of the front doorbell startled me. I thought, I'll wait a minute and whoever it is will go away. I waited and waited, but the bell was persistent and seemed to sound louder and louder. Then whoever was ringing the bell also started knocking on the door very loudly. So I thought, who in this world can it be? For a long time, nobody has ever rung my bell or come to see me. 
So I loosened the rope from my neck and I went to the door, while the bell rang louder and louder. When I opened the door and saw who it was, I could not believe it, because on my front porch was the most radiant and angelic little boy I have ever seen in my life. His smile, oh, I could never describe it to you. The words that came from his mouth caused my heart, which was dead a long time ago, to leap to life as he said with a cherub-like voice, Ma'am, I just came to tell you that Jesus loves you. Then he handed me this pamphlet, which I hold in my hands. As the little angel disappeared into the cold rain, I closed the door and read every word on this pamphlet. So I went up to the attic to get my rope and chair. I would not need them anymore. You see, I am now a very happy daughter of the King of Glory. Since the address of your church was on the back of this pamphlet, I came here to personally say thank you. Personally to the angel of God, who at the right time delivered my soul from spending eternity in hell. Everyone in the church had tears in their eyes. And as shouts of praise and honor to the king echoed throughout the building, the pastor came down from the pulpit and headed towards the front row where his little angel was sitting. He took his son in his arms and sobbed uncontrollably. It is likely that no church has ever had such a glorious moment and probable that such a glorious example of a father's love and honor for his son has ever been seen on earth except for one other. This father also allowed his son to go to a cold, dark world. He received his son back with unspeakable joy. All heaven shouted praises and honor to the king. This father has placed his beloved son on a throne above all principalities and power and has given him a name which is above every other name. Blessed are the ears that hear this message. Do not let it be lost. Listen to it again. Think about this. Put it into practice. For God wants to use you. And remember, the Word of God can make all the difference in the life of someone who is close to you. Do not fear or be ashamed to share this beautiful message.